What's up guys, more medic one. Boy oh boy, do I have a weird one on the bench today. Customer has already replaced the carburetor. A matter of fact, he said he replaced it uh, just yesterday or the day before. And uh, he said whenever he went to crank his mower, the mower is just running wide open throttle. I said, well, you, you probably, you know, got your governor out of whack. Something's not kosher. And uh, it, take a look at this something is just not put together right here is the curb idle screw and let me actuate the throttle and that's as it goes and it stops right there at about half throttle and this thing is just running wide open and uh this ain't good here <laughs> here are the intake gaskets that they had on it and as, as you can tell whenever you tighten this style down it's not going to seal because it's got a o-ring here let's pop this air horn off right here let's see i need to get my little set of inverted torx bits here now the heads of these screws <laughs> are what we call E6, uh, they're internal torques. They look like this, but as you can tell, the backyard or the average homeowner is just gonna grip it with a pair of pliers and just absolutely destroy the head of the screws. Man, oh man. But I think we can get them out. I don't fault anybody for trying to do their own repairs, but I've actually seen mechanics be lazy and do this right here on these screws. It's ridiculous. Just use the right tools, folks. It makes for a better repair. You don't tear junk up. Boy, I got into an ant pile today while I was working in the yard. Them daggum things, they eat me up. Yep, I was right. Check this out. Take this gasket off, and here's that mixture gasket or spacer, and it's got a little eyebrow in there. As you can tell, we have got this thing installed backwards in there. See how that's got a eyebrow on it and it sticks out pretty good. Well, he had it like this. And then whenever you go to throttle this thing, the butterflies are hitting those eyebrows. If your engine calls for these, it's supposed to be installed like this with the eyebrows facing outwards and up like this. So that those butterflies absolutely, well, let me get a better view here. With it correctly installed, the eyebrow or the throttle plates get nowhere near it. Now that we've swapped that gasket around, we have full range of motion and everything looks good. Now we just need to reinstall her back on the motor and give it a test. Hopefully, we can reuse these gaskets, but hopefully I can just take that and turn that around and it'd be all right. Just pay attention. Uh, when you pull something apart and uh, it's, if you're not quite sure, go to the service manual. It'll, it, it, all the information you'd ever need is in a service manual. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this to you guys so that if you have an issue like this, it will be quickly resolved for you, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I uh, happen to go right back all the way through this thing, even though he's 
already replaced this carburetor. It wasn't installed correctly. Alrighty guys, hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your week. Tomorrow's Monday, more Medic One.